YouTube, this is your boy Dan, aka Drive. I bring you guys episode 21 of the first ever Pokemon Moon Bug Log. If you guys are hyped for this episode, show your love and that like button down below and definitely make sure you guys subscribe. If you're new, we got a quick question of the day today. Who is your favorite evil team in Pokemon? I asked this because in the last episode, we took on Plumeria and Team Skull, and Team Skull is very quickly becoming my favorite evil team in Pokemon of all time. Otherwise, I gotta go with Team Rocket. I gotta go with the OG team, but I'm really liking Team Skull, man. So take a moment, let me know in the comments section below, and it does seem like we are finally gonna take on Olivia now. After all this, after all this time, it does seem like that is what is about to go down. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to change my team up, when that happens, so I think what I'm gonna do is I think Scuba Bug is probably a good first Pokemon to lead with because it does have those powerful water type moves. Um, that would be an idea. The other one would be to lead with Hayden. Um, I think I'm gonna lead with, yeah, I think I'm gonna put Hayden in front actually because I have the Brick Break and we could really do some damage with that. So let's jump into things here. It looks like I only had to take a few steps forward to trigger what's going down and we'll see what happens. I am really, really nervous and I'm also really hyped at the same time. So it's Burnett, A Drive. What's going down here? Lily got lost again, so I brought her here to you. She couldn't even find her way to the Tide Song Hotel on her own. She said that she saw Team Skull and tried to avoid them, and that's why she got lost. Now I've got to go. The Mass Royal has a match, and there's no way I'm missing it. That's so cool that Kukui has a wife. Uh, that's cool that they like really brought the story together. The Mass Royal. What do you think he looks like under that mask anyway? I, I hope she's kidding. I hope she's kidding. She's got to know that's her husband. I came here for Nebby. Though, as you saw, I didn't come here myself so much, and I was brought here with the professor's help. Oh, look at poor Pincer. Let me heal it for you. So I just waste those potions for nothing? Well, that's okay. Within these ruins wait the guardian deity of Akala Island. This is Tapu Lele's ruin. Pew! You know, I try. I know you tried to drag me along to the ruins of conflict on Mele Mele Island, too. Why are these ruins important to you? What do the guardians mean to you, Cosmog? I don't know. Just think what would have happened to you, A-Drive, if, uh, if A-Drive hadn't been to you back then. Oh, I get what you're saying. When I saved him on the bridge. Ooh, there's Olivia. Oh, I haven't seen you with, uh, haven't I seen you with Kukui? Oh, that's Lily, I guess. Oh, yes, my name is Lily. I work as Kukui's assistant, and this is A-Drive. Oh, sorry, I never even asked your name before, did I? Tapu Lele summoned me here to clean up the ruins. A-Drive, thanks for getting to know the people in Pokemon of Alola. Are we about to throw down though? Throw down showdown? Uh oh. I think this is where it goes down. All right then, you've completed the trials of all three captains here on Akala Island. Now you face the grand trial of the Kahuna, me. Get ready for your hardest Pokemon battle yet on Akala. I'd love to. Let's do it, Olivia. Let's throw down. It is time. Great, we're gonna give you everything we've got. And my partners are all adorable, rugged little rock types. So this is the battle I've been dreading, man. And this is why we grinded our team up. Olivia is fabulous. Let's not even let's not even question it. She's got three Pokemon. She's gonna kick things off with a nose pass. All right. So I feel okay against a nose pass because I got I got Hayden and I have nothing that is not weak to rock. Everything on my team gets hit super effective. And she's 26. So I'm gonna need everything, every little bit I got here. So let me just kind of take a quick look here. I did want to look. And okay, all my items are still there, so that's good. So I'm gonna go just straight up and hit this thing with a brick break, I think, here, right off the bat. See how much it does. Probably a 2 hit KO, if I had to guess, and it is gonna be a 2 hit KO. He's gonna go for the Thunder Wave right off the bat, which is actually kind of unfortunate, because that's gonna really slow me down and force me to heal off this paralysis right off the bat here, if I have any way to do that. I don't even know if I do. Let's see here. I do have a paralyzed heal, so I'm gonna have to use that right away. Um, I can't afford to be paralyzed, uh, otherwise, like, this thing is gonna just get destroyed. And he does have the Rock Slide, of course, and that is gonna do a tremendous amount to me. About half. But I should be able to take out this Nose Pass here with another Brick Break. And we'll get rid of the first of our three Pokemon, but what is gonna be the next two? And can Pinsir hold it down against them? That is gonna be the question. Hayden gets a boosted 401. And here comes what? A Lycan Rock. Oh my goodness. And it's the Midnight Form, level 27. All right, here is what it's all about, man. We're gonna bust out that Z Power, all out pummeling. We are going for it. And I'm just, no. Tell me it's, oh no. It's faster than me and he's gonna use a Z move too. Continental Crush, here it is. Oh, Hayden, I'm sorry, buddy, but you are not living this, man. You are not living this, buddy. Oh, man. Uh. 
And Hayden goes down and loses a life. All right, I gotta look at Podrick's moveset. Podrick does have Brick Break. So I'm gonna go into Podrick. Podrick is really bulky and he's my highest level. I don't think anything was living that, man. I just was gonna lose a Pokemon either way. Let's go for the uh, the Brick Break here. He's faster, he's gonna go for a Rock Throw. So we can, oh my God, that does almost half to us. And it's just a Rock Throw. Wow, we just bopped this Lycan Rock though. I'm going for another Brick Break. And I got the Quick Claw Boost, baby. Podge oh, he went for a Super Potion. I got so excited for a second. This Lycan Rock is really scary. This might be enough still. Come on, Podrick. Mm, let's go, Podrick. Taking down the Lycan Rock. Podrick gets a huge boost of experience. Koopa Bug up to 31. What else he got? And a Bulldor. Okay, I'm not as scared about a Bulldor as I was that Lycan Rock, though. I think I could beat the Bulldor with a couple Brick Breaks. I don't think he can knock me out one hit. Two Brick Breaks should do enough, I'm hoping. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Oh my goodness. Rock Blast. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't hit me five times. That was a crit. Don't hit five times. Oh my goodness. Okay. And Podrick's emergency exit activates. And he's going to switch out. We are going to go into... I think I can go into... I never got to use my Z-move. I'm going to go into Scuba Bug. I'm going to go into Scuba Bug. I think Scuba Bug is the safest because I'm only one times weak to rock. And I can go for a Bubble Beam here and it should do a good amount. We're going to get the stab boost. I should be faster. Let's go for the Bubble Beam. I got the Mystic Water. This should be enough. Bulldor is pretty weak, especially. Okay. So we beat the Kahuna of Akala Island, which was Olivia. And we do lose a life on, on uh, Hayden there in the process, which is definitely a bit of a bummer to lose a life. I had There was nothing on my team that was going to take that uh, that rock move there. But uh, Podrick, you did good, man. Podrick, you, you tanked that Lycan Rock, and if it was not for you, Podrick, I don't think I was beating that Lycan Rock. I actually think Lycan Rock would have swept the entire team if it wasn't for uh, Podrick here. So, thank you, my big beast, my big beast of a friend. You may be scary to some, man, but you are a champion, and you actually getting out of there with that emergency exit was pretty clutch, I'm not even gonna lie. Took that hit, booked it out of there, and got me a chance to switch into something else. I'm not even gonna complain. You deserve a nice little head rub. Let me give you some beans, bro. You deserve some beans. Eat these beans, man. Use that hand to hold the beans. You're good, dude. You are just gonna you are gonna be a legend, man. I just know it, Podrick. It is gonna be you that helps us to the end, my friend. I hope. I hope, Podrick. You're a beast. Alright, man. That's enough petting for now. We gotta go talk to Olivia since we just beat the rock challenge. Mmm. That was tough. Diamonds only sparkle after coal is pushed to its absolute limits. Wow. You guys are the best. Here, the Rock Type Z Crystal. The Rocky MZ is all yours. There it is, man. The Rock Type Z Crystal, and we've officially beaten the Kahuna of our second island. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. That was probably gonna be one of the toughest ones we needed to face yet, and I am glad that we trained up. We are a few levels above uh, kind of where we, we would be equal, but that's okay. You know, with the experience share and all that stuff, you would expect that, so. The rock type Z power, you have to move like this to draw it out. Watch carefully because the hip movement is crucial. All right. Let's see what you got, Olivia. I didn't I didn't really see much hip movement yet. Oh my goodness. It's pretty intense. Lily's just standing there like, okay. I think Lily's about to get like super into battling by the end of this. Use it well, the rock type. It's hard, sturdy, rugged, and physically strong. So nothing like me at all. I guess opposites really do attract. That is cool. But she's not the first girl to be into the rock type. You got Roxanne from Oras, you know? Pew! You look very pleased, don't you? By the way, Lily, this might be a weird question, but why even come to the Ruins of Life if you're not a trainer? Oh, because of Nebby. It's not originally from here and I want to help it get back to its home, but I don't have any idea how to do that. It seems fond of the ruins for some reason, so I keep visiting them and hoping that maybe I will find a clue to help it. You certainly don't see a Pokemon like that every day. Tapu Lele may be, the, may be called the guardian deity of our island, but it can also run wild at times. Regular Pokemon normally avoid the guardians at all costs, unless they are strong enough to face the Tapu themselves, that is. Phew? Wait, that can't be right. I think your journey will hold many surprises and I hope it holds many joys. I'll take you back to town, Lily. You're doing everything you can for your partner, even though you're not a trainer. I like that kind of person, so I can't help you, but I can give a hand. So here we are. Oh, there's Hao. Hey, you're Kahuna Olivia. I'm Hao from Iki Town. You've got to let me battle you. 
Oh, hey, A-Drive, guess what? This weird green guy from Ether told me to come up Hano Grand Resort once I finished with my grand trial here on Akala. Crazy, right? Wait, they told me the same thing. Oh, the Ether Foundation. I'm not sure what he wants with you, A-Drive, but why don't you go find out? If you don't want to keep him waiting, then Charizard should get you there in no time. The Hano Grand Resort lies just over the bridge near the Dimensional Research Lab. The, the Ether Foundation? Um, I, I think I'll stay here. I'd like to see how Howe's battle goes. Even though I hate to see Pokemon get hurt, but I know that both of your Pokemon are dedicated to battling beside you. I may not be as strong as my Gramps, Hala, but I can still raise up Brion and the rest of my team to do their best. You are just Hal, right? And what's wrong with that? Who cares if you're Hala's grandson? Now show me what Hal can do. Lots of positivity in this game. I love that. Team positivity, baby, all day. So we have finished that, and now we are going to head to the Grand Resort. So let us hop on our Charizard here, and we're going to travel back to, uh, I guess we're going to travel back to here, right? The Yeah, this is where we need to go. So I never went to that other hotel. So I do want to go to the other hotel, too, uh, at the beginning of this island. That was, like, one of the first things you do when you get here, and I never went to it. So and we also may say, make some tweaks to our team now that we've kind of uh, taken care of that. I kind of want to go into our PC, look at the squad here, and make some changes. We may have to make some adjustments. And so tough for us to decide what you to use, but I am really glad that... You know, we have all these bug types, and I think it's really cool because I, I haven't really done this myself on a playthrough, and I don't think many other people on playthroughs do this, but I plan to utilize every one of our bug Pokemon anytime we get a chance. If I have an advantage against a trainer with one of them, I will grab it and put it in my party again. So I do want to get Overdrive back on the team, which means we have to say goodbye to someone. And I think it's kind of tough to say goodbye, but I think Fun Guy is going to be put back on the PC for now in favor of Overdrive. Because I do feel like with that Eevee Light now, Overdrive is going to be very, very good. And now I have to decide what I want to do otherwise. And this is a bit bit of a tough decision, but I do think I need to go with my beautiful Shiny. My beautiful Shiny Twilight instead of rocking uh, Anon here, who does have the Waterium Z. So we've got these four amazing bug Pokemon, but here's going to be our squad for now. Hayden, Scuba Bug, Twilight, Podrick, Honey, and Overdrive are going to be our homies moving forward here. And I want to do it before I forget. Let me go into my bag here and grab that Eevee Light because... That is going to make Charger Bug so much better um, for now, until it evolves. And again, I said this earlier, but I do know that it does take a long time for Overdrive to evolve. I don't believe you get to evolve him until Island 4. We're still on Island 2, so it's a ways away. So we'll heal up the squad here. Like I said, I never went to that hotel. Lily told me to go, but I never did. So let's go see what's going on over there. And then we were going to go to the other hotel at the other foundation. So I'd imagine the first one won't take us too long. But let's hop on uh, Tauros here and we'll ride our way across. So nice that we don't have to use HMs. I don't even remember where it was. It's not down here, is it? No, it's over there. Okay, I see it now. We have to just go down this little curve here. And I never went down this way. So let's check it out. I think I went down this way, though. This was the Route 4. So, yeah, we never went over here. So let's see what's going down over here. I think we talked to them before, but we never actually went into the hotel at any point in time. So... Let's take it out. The Tide Song Hotel, I believe, is what this is called. So let's see what we've got going on here. All right, time to visit the ranch now. I just got to cut through Paniola Town. Cor Cor! Cor Shala! I'd love such a lady to teach me all the kind things of Alola. You're trying to use my lower my attack using some kind of charm? The ocean breeze dances over Hia Hia. The Luminion dance on the waves. Come here to hear the song. Oh, so she sings to me. Have you guys ever stayed in, like, any super awesome hotels like this? Uh, I went to uh, the Bahamas one time on vacation, and um, it was really cool. And you know what we've never really done? We haven't taken any of those pictures with Rotom. I haven't been using that feature, but that's okay. Good day. Welcome to the Tide Song Hotel. So that's it? That's all that happens in here? There's a star me and this guy. You can find anything inside of a trainer's bag. Uh, Ten years of a waiting list. So I guess there wasn't really much to see in here after all. So no worries. I thought we were going to have to explore the whole island, but or the whole resort, but it seems very, very... Uh, I don't know, empty, I suppose. So let us hop on our Tauros here and ride our way. But I went to uh, the Bahamas one time. Uh, actually, I went twice, believe it or not. But I went to the Bahamas, and I, I stayed at this place called the Atlantis Resort. And it is one of the, the like the coolest places to go for like a family vacation. It, it wouldn't be like a romantic vacation, really. But for a family vacation, it was so cool. They had, like, um, they had an aquarium underground, which was really neat. It was cool, man. Um, I live my life in search of pleasure. I wonder if I find something new to enjoy if I went through the island challenge once again. Wait, did you do the island challenge once? And you're gonna do it again? Jeez. What's, what's down here? Let's bust out uh, Mr. Stoutland. Stoutland, you smell anything? Smell anything, Stoutland? 
There's gotta be some down here. Zygarde cube or something, right? Nothing? You don't see anything, dude? Salon, what are you doing, man? Well, maybe we're supposed to come down here at some point to use that ship. I don't know. But there's a Pelipper in the water. Let's see here. Yay, the Pelipper is flying. I want to get carried around in Pelipper's beak too. Take me somewhere. That Pelipper, do you think it's wild or does it belong to someone at the hotel? Hold on, guys. Let me take a quick cut. I'm just going to close the bed, uh, like the office door so you don't hear the dogs. Alrighty, guys. There we go. So, that Pelipper, do you think it's wild or does it belong to someone at the hotel? I have no idea. Alola is interesting because it has these many different architectural styles thanks to so many people coming here from all over. That is really cool. Let's see what's going on over here. There's a couple other places we gotta, gotta search. There's a Pikachu and a dude. Master Chuster, this is your vacation for three years. Please forget that you are a famous star and just enjoy being a regular Pikachu for once. Pikachu! That's interesting. So it's a famous Pikachu that's sitting here and being attended to. And what's going on over here? There's a beach. Ooh, the Hano Beach! Come on, Stalin, we'll get this pristine, we'll get this beach pristine in no time. It's cool that this this guy has been on this, like, has kind of been back and forth now for a while. Like, we've seen him throughout this island. I'm a real man of the season. I consider it my duty to keep the beach safe. So here's my warning to you. The only people you'll find swimming in the water are Pokemon trainers. Be careful out there. So we definitely have to go out there and face some trainers. The only reason I can luxuriate like this now is because I work on the beach. If you're interested in doing some part-time work, why don't you try chucking some Pukamuku? Ooh, I'll chuck some Pukamuku. Let's see here. Why don't you take this? A soda pop! Thanks for the drink. I like soda. What, would you rather have a soda pop that I already started drinking? No, no, that was cool with me. A glistening sweat, a slippery goo, the perfect tune that keeps Zano Beach going. Pukamuku chuckers are desperately needed. Won't you become a Pukamuku chucker? Sure. I'm one of the staff members responsible for keeping Hano Beach spotless for our guests, but Pukamuku sometimes wriggle up on our beach from the sea. I don't know why they do it, but we just can't leave them there. They shrivel up on land and that's not all. Our guests get grossed out seeing them and sometimes they even hurt step on them. So we end up with no choice but to chuck those Pukamuku back. I'll explain the job, it's pretty easy. Step one, catch Pukamuku. Step two, throw Pukamuku back into the sea. Step three, report back to me when every last Pukamuku on the beach is returned to the sea. So what do you think? Let's do it. And then get every last Pukamuku on the beach into the sea. I can see six Pukamuku that need saving. All right, so we've got to get six Pukamukus now. Trainer tips, you can use TMs as many times as you like. I didn't know that. Some wild Pokemon in here. There's a Pukamuku. Let's chuck them back in. Puke, Muke. You chuck the Pukamuku back into the sea. So that's one. I wonder what these wild Pokemon are. Let's let's see what one of them is. This might be uh, Polisan and Sandy Gast. Called it. It is a Sandy Gast, so we were right. Good old Sandy Gast. Sandy Gast and Paula Sand. Cool Pokemon too. Level 23, and he's what? Uh, ghost and um, and ground. So we'll just run from him. But pretty cool that you can find him here. They're kind of hiding in the in this in the beach. They don't look like they move a whole lot. Oh, there's another Pukamuku. Let's throw him back in. Puke Mook. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. Uh, this is kind of a spoiler, but. I do know that Pukamuku does not evolve, unfortunately, which is such a bummer. I feel like they could have done something really cool with it. Pukamook. So let's throw this one back into the sea. And let's see what else we got. We've got another one here. Pukamook. I think that's four, if I can count. And this one is five. Wait, did I forget one? I got five. I know I got five for sure. See if I missed any. Uh, I might have missed one. Did I miss one? I don't even know. I don't see any more. I'm running. Maybe I got them all and I just can't count. I'll run down this way one more time just to make sure I didn't miss any. And then we'll talk to the guy. But I think I got them all. Uh, I definitely tossed all the ones I saw. Let's see if I got them all. Maybe I miscounted. I don't even know. You got five. I still got one more. Where's the other one, though? Is it higher? Oh, here it is. This one, like, crawled its way all the way back up. I was like, I thought he would be by the sea, but this one, this one, like, made it all the way back. All right, sweet. Now I'm going to get the payday, because I definitely could use the money. Good job. You got every last one of them. He's going to give me how much? 20,000 bucks. I needed that. That was huge. Thanks, man. All right, well, I'll come back here for some more money later, man. That was a lot of money. Uh, let's go check out some of these wild and uh, wild trainers here. We'll start at the end of the beach and kind of work our way to the right Because it does seem like there's some trainers out here. Maybe there's some items and stuff There's a wild Pokemon that attacked me in the shadows uh, Which we haven't really seen this mechanic too much in this game. We saw it 
earlier earlier on, but there's a tentacool. Um, but we haven't really seen this mechanic used too much. It's cool though. But Hayden, Hayden don't care about these these tentacles. Hayden doesn't care. Hayden's just gonna run. We're already high enough level, Hayden. We don't need to we don't need to beat down these tentacles. We don't need to. But let's see what else we can find here. There's gotta be some good items out here. There's a Pokeball here. So I'll grab that. A pearl string. I wonder what that is. That's a new item as his tentacle is rushing up to me. What is a pearl string? Very large pearls that sparkle in pretty silver color. They can be sold at high price to shops. Sweet. I'm definitely gonna need some money at some point. Like I said, that 20 grand was a nice little bonus right there. And there's another tentacle. Not too shabby. Tentacle. All right. I'm just gonna run. No problem. I'm not too worried about you, Tentacool. Mold breaker breaking the mold. I'm probably gonna actually put something else in the front of the party, just so it doesn't do that break the mold thing every time while I'm running into these Pokemon. Let me see here. Who can I put in the front? I mean, Hayden's level 30. Who else is below him? Anyone below him? I mean, Twilight, Overdrive. Let's actually put Overdrive in the front. We're facing water types, right? So this is, Overdrive's actually a little bit behind now, uh, cause he, he kind of got left out for a little bit there. So let's see what else we got. We got surfing around, looking for items underneath. Looking for people to battle. There's a trainer right here. Let's battle this guy. You want to battle me, dude? Hey, you're not even looking at me. The sea and beach are so nice. Just being here broadens my mind. Well, I dig it, man. Let's see what you got going on. You are, oh man, this guy's intense. Swimmer Logan. And he's got a wishy-washy, but is it the school form or the big one? It's the small one. I wonder what level it starts to use its ability schooling. Maybe we'll see it right now. Yeah, it does. So at level 25, it looks like it does. It gets to go into its school form, which is really cool, actually. I'm pretty sure we're okay, though. I can just go for Spark. We're faster. I don't think this is going to knock him out, but it's probably going to do a lot. Yeah. Let's go for Brian. This is going to hurt. That hurts. But we do have that Eviolite now, man. I'm telling you, Eviolite is, is very, very cool. And it looks like Wishy Washy doesn't uh, switch until it's in the red, so pretty sweet. Overdrive gets a nice little boost, goes up to 29. Not too shabby, big boy. So Eevee Light boosts my defense one and a half times, so my defense stat is actually not 66, it's 99, and then the special defense is actually 70, 75, 76. So very, very bulky with that Eevee Light. So I have a feeling even though we can't evolve this thing, it's still gonna be a very, very good Pokemon for now. So let's see what else we can find. Any other things going on? Well, there's a little island over here that we have to go to. I can see it on my Rotom Dex, but I'm trying to see if there's anything else I'm missing before I go on it. It was a Pokeball, it's glistening, so let's see. Good, be a good item. Black Glasses, which boosts the power of dark type moves. Very nice, I'll take it. And let's hop back here onto our Lapras, and there's another trainer, let's battle this guy. Good win, good waves, above all my good mood. All right, well what kind of Pokemon do you have, sir? You look just like the guy I just faced. You got, it's Lawrence, and he has a Wingle. And my charger bug, my overdrive do not care about your wingle, man. Overdrive's about to throw down. Let's do it, bus. Let's do it, buddy. Let's hit him big, big hits here. Spark. Go. He's gonna water pull, so he is faster. Just no confusion, please. I can take the hit, just no confusion. And of course he gets the confusion. Alright, overdrive, good job. Way to not hit yourself with confusion, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. And that thing goes down. We're gonna get a nice little boost there. And here comes, what was that, a Barboach? Okay, Barboach. So I don't really know if I could beat this thing easily. So I'm gonna switch out here. And I think I'm gonna go into, let's go into Scoobug. Scoobug can take any hit. I can go for the water move. I can go for Leech Slife as well if I want to, which will give me some health back. And we get to see that shiny animation, which is just a beautiful thing. Magnitude, oof. Let's see how much this does. We do resist, so I doubt it's gonna do too much. Yeah, that does pretty much nothing. Hit me a few times there, but that's okay. Let's go for the bubble beam because we got the mystic water boost. So I hope we learn some better water moves. Maybe like Scald or something could be pretty good later. And Magnitude 8 again. This thing is firing off some powerful Magnitudes. Shout out to Pokemon Trainer Steve. Critical hit, but this bubble beam will definitely be good enough to take this thing out. See you later, Barboach. That is it for you, bud. That is all she wrote for you. And Scoob Bug, we're gonna we'll clear for Scoob Bug. Got a little wet here. Wingle's in a bad mood. Let's let's bust out the refresh real quick. Are you wet? Is that what it is? Oh, Charger Bug is wet. Okay, got a little water on you there. We don't want that. 
We don't want that, buddy. Let's let's dry you off here. No worries. You're a happy guy. It's been a little while since I showed you some love, little man. Let's give you a nice little head rub here, dude. You are gonna be just a legend, man. We're holding on to you tight. We need you to take those flying hits, so don't... Oh, you're, you're boosting up. He's boosting up to three. I think his affection's at three now. Very nice. I think it goes up to five, but I don't know what the benefits are when you get it to five. Like, I don't know if they can start to dodge attacks or whatever. I don't even know what happens, but let's just kind of surf around the outskirts here. Just make sure I don't miss any items kind of hiding in the water. I might have missed some. I don't think I did, though. This is a pretty big area, man. Oh, there's an item right there. There's more trainers, too. Like, I'm not even... There's still more trainers. I thought, like, there wouldn't be that many. A dive ball. And we could battle this guy, too. Let's see here. The best thing about swimmers, there's nothing for us other than Pokemon. We represent a freedom. All right. I dig it. I respect the freedom grind. And swimmer Roddy. What Pokemon do you have, Roddy? You have a Gyarados. So that's a bit scary. But I have faith in Overdrive. I have faith in Overdrive. As long as I'm above 40 HP, I'm going for Spark. I'm, ab I'm above 40 HP. I'm going for Spark here. I think we could we could take a hit and I can knock him out. I got an Eevee Light, man. I'm ready to go. Let's go, baby. Let's do this Overdrive. He's going to go for Thrash. Ah, we can live this. We're going to eat that up. Look at Overdrive go. And this is going to just destroy this Gyarados. Wow, he lived. He lived. I don't want to risk... I don't want to risk a critical hit here. So I'm going to Super Potion. Not worth it. We only got one life left on Overdrive, so not worth the risk. He's going to Thrash again. But we're eating that up. And he's confused now, too, so that's fine with me. Yeah, he definitely would have uh, had a potential to knock us out there. Let's go for Spark again. And hit yourself in Confusion. Saving the PP. He's going to go for Thrash again. And we take it. So we're down to 40. So he does he did 39 to us in two two turns. So, But Gyarados goes down. That's a lot of experience. Nine, nine, uh, 966. Very nice. And Swimmerati goes down. I think there was like one or two more trainers, probably. Let's see here. I'm like, I like that I'm not getting bombarded by wild Pokemon right now, though. That's a really nice thing. Can you tell me how you chose your partner Pokemon? I picked the bug types, lady. That's what I did. I picked all the bug types. What about you, Swimmer? Swimmer Chelsea. Pukamuku. Ooh, we get to see a Pukamuku in battle for the first time. I don't actually know what type Pukamuku is. I think it's water type, but I'm not even sure. I'm going to just go for Spark and see what happens. But he's level 25. Oh, he's going to use Inners out if I knock him out, isn't he? Hold on, I gotta think about this for a second. I gotta think about this for a second. I don't know how this mechanic works, so I'm going to switch into... How do I wanna do this? I'm gonna switch into sc Scuba Bug, maybe? Let's go into Scuba Bug. I, I wanna be very careful about how I beat this Pukamuku because I know it has an ability called Innards Out, but I'm not exactly sure what the mechanics are. I think it deals... Oh, he's got Counter! Okay, I'm gonna go for Aqua Ring. We're gonna be very careful about this. Because it's not worth losing a Pokemon to this thing. He's gonna go for Curse. So he's got Counter and Curse. This thing is interesting. He's gonna boost himself up here. And I'm gonna get my Aqua Ring. I'm gonna go for the Leech Slave and see what happens. See how much it does. See how much it does this thing. Leech Slave, love this animation. Boom, does pretty much nothing. But we're going to heal ourselves up a little bit here. Very nice. And he goes for the Safeguard. So Safeguard, Curse, Counter. That seems to be his only attacking moves at this point. I'm just so nervous that he's going to, like, just... I'm going to go for the Bite and hope for a Flinch, maybe? He's going to go for Curse again. So this thing is starting to boost up on me. This thing is actually getting a little scary right now. I just don't know how his, how his ability works, and I don't want to go start, you know, bopping this thing with powerful moves that have me... Lose a Pokemon due to innards out, you know? So we'll go for Bite again here. Slowly start to whittle this thing down. He's going to go for Counter, which is going to hit us. But it doesn't really do too much to us because we're not really doing too much damage to him. So that's fine. I think it's whatever the final blow is that knocks out Pukamuku. That's how much damage in HP he does back with innards out. I'm pretty sure that's how the ability works. Which is why I didn't want to just click Spark. Because if I did that... Yo, did the sun just appear in the background because the time changed in the game? I'm pretty sure that sun wasn't back there before, and now it just, like, popped up in the game. I'll have to go look back after I film the episode and see if I just made that up or if that really happened. Let's go for Leech Slave again. I probably should be going for Bite, but that's okay. We got a crit there, and that is going to knock him out. And here's the Innards Out. Let's see. Okay, so that's how it works. Innards Out does exactly that. It does as much damage as you, whatever the blow, final blow was. So 
Twilight wants to learn Whirlwind. I'm not going to teach a Whirlwind. That would have been really scary if we just got, uh, you know, lost, lost a Pokemon because of that. That would have been really annoying. All right, let's see what we got here. A little item in the ground, an antidote. Not too shabby. I think there was one more trainer over here that I saw, and I think that's probably it. I think we, we're good here in the water if I just take on this last trainer. Is this the last guy? No, I faced you already. I thought there was one more that I saw, but I think that's I think we got them all. I'll check if this one. Oh no, I didn't battle you. So you're the last trainer, I'm assuming. I'll attack you in boldly in my bikini. All right, fisherman lady. You're looking fabulous though, swimmer Laura. You're looking fabulous. And you've got a Finneon. So this should be short work for uh, the charger bus here. Overdrive, I know you can do it. So as the affection goes up in the uh, in the refresh, they say different things. Overdrive is awaiting my directions. Well, I want you to hit him with a spark, buddy. Gust. So Finneon is such a weird Pokemon. It learns bug po bug moves, it learns flying moves, it learns water moves. It's kind of interesting. It gets U-turn, it gets defog. Very weird Pokemon. Overdrive up to level 30. Podrick up to 33, getting swole. And what do you got left? A Shelder. I feel like Shelder can probably live a spark, but I'm gonna just go for it anyway. I think two sparks will probably knock it out. Ooh, we just got straight up, oh, we got a crit, that's why. I think he would have lived it otherwise. Shelter's pretty bulky. So, Overdrive gives a nice little boost there, not too bad, and we're gonna bust out the refresh again and just dry him off, because he's probably wet. No, he's actually muddy this time. Well, I don't want you to be muddy, buddy. Let's, let's dry you off here, bud. Or let's clean you off here a little bit. Don't worry, man, I got you. I got you. You're good to go, bud. You're good to go, Charger Bus. Sweet, man. I think we're good to go here, guys. I'm going to head back to shore. And uh, on the next episode, it looks like we're going to be heading back, or we're going to be heading into the hotel and figure out what is going down with the Ether Foundation. They seem a little bit sketchy inside there, so I don't know. They wanted Hao and me to both show up. So I'll probably head to the Pokemon Center, and we'll head right back here and kick off our next episode. Don't forget our question of the day. Who is your favorite evil team in Pokemon? Is it is it Team Skull now? Is it Rocket? Is it Plasma? Is it Galactic? I don't know. Let me know. Is it is it Magma? I don't know. Let me know. Definitely hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. That is going to be that for me, guys. My name is Dan. I'll go by A-Drop, and I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace.